OK, well, I couldn't believe my eyes this morning. I've been watching the, the latest uh, revelations from the Trevor Jacob um, crash debacle. And uh, I've just come across this video by a guy called Peter's Guide, and he pointed out that the the engine had been swapped. <laughs> now, you know this distinctive engine that's a flat four, and there's a, there's a red rocker covers on the engine sticking out the side of the cowlings because it's probably not the original engine that was in the Taylor Craft when it was built. Um, and quite often they modified them, put better engines in them, and had to cut a hole in the sides for the flat four engines to come out. That's what I'm guessing anyway. But originally the aircraft had a Lycoming engine, and there is a video on the um, the internet of some guy who was doing a tailwheel checkout in the aircraft, and it's, there's pictures of it on the internet, and it has got a Lycoming engine. But when you look at the video of the actual crash and get a close-up of the engine in that video, it is actually, it's been swapped out. It's a Continental that's in there. Probably an old one that's out of hours. Now, the thing is with aeroplane engines is they can only run for so many hours and then you have to rebuild them. You know, even if they run fine, you know, it's not like a car. You know, it's still going. You know, it's not like that. You um, They cost a lot of money as well, aeroplane engines. So if you if you have an engine that's that's out of hours, you can't use it. It's got to be stripped. It's got to be rebuilt. It's got to be rebuilt. It's got all thousands and thousands of dollars worth of work done in it. So if you've got one, it's not worth very much if it's out of hours. But if you've got a, um, an engine that has got loads of hours left on it, and you were intending to crash that plane as a stunt, you'd swap it out, wouldn't you, for um, an old engine that's out of hours? You wouldn't care. Um, and if you look closely, he's right, this guy, right, he's Peter's guy, he's called, he pointed it out on this video, and I was like gobsmacked, I thought, wow, you're right, you're right, it is. And they even went to the trouble of painting the rocker covers red to deceive us, so that we wouldn't notice, and this guy, good luck to him, I, I missed it, and he spotted it. Well done, good effort, my friend.